I feel like the world isn't how many of us want it to be. We live in an age of protest. Many are asking how real, lasting change happens. Allowing ourselves to be angry and calling out injustice is right and important, but it doesn't seem to be having the effect we desire. Historic divisions and inequalities are being challenged, and yet somehow we seem more, not less, divided. The paradox of social change movements is that they can run the risk of driving deeper the very divisions they seek to overturn. Psychologists have observed an interesting tendency in us humans, that regardless of how educated we are, when faced with differing points of view, we often become defensive, more committed to our original position, less open to listening. We can so easily create a border between us and them, out and in, awake and asleep. Historically, successful social movements were really clear on the need for truth and justice, for exposing oppression and for championing the oppressed. But perhaps the hidden power they harnessed was a commitment to seeing the humanity in those they disagreed with. To building empathy. Creating pathways to peace. Effective change seems to consist of both deconstruction and restoration. But there's a cost in seeking to understand our opponents. Maybe even those who've wronged us. Perhaps the question is not how we create lasting change but whether we're willing. <laughs> 